biker training. The clicker can be a very useful tool in training to facilitate understanding for our dogs. Clicker is used to mark the behavior you like as it is occurring. There are many benefits to using a clicker. In multi-person households, the click is consistent among all the household members. The click is neutral and provides the same clear information whether you are stressed, fearful, or excited. The click increases the speed of learning for new behaviors. The clicker reduces the number of reinforcements necessary to train a behavior. The clicker allows for much better timing than more traditional praise-based methods. If you accidentally click, the only bad thing that happens is that your dog gets an extra treat. Anyone can clicker train, including children. And clicker training allows for precision, which in turn allows for training of very intricate and or complex behaviors. For example, you can click or train your dog to blink on cue or to retrieve a drink. To get started, you'll want to use 5 to 10 small soft treats and do what we call charging the clicker. Charging the clicker is easy. Simply click your clicker, then give your dog a treat. It's best if you wait to move your hand until after you click. So click, then move your hand to feed your dog a treat. This will allow your dog to really understand what the clicker means. In using the clicker, you'll need plenty of tiny, easy to swallow treats. I really like the food rolls, which are easy to cut up in whatever size you want. Tiny pieces of chicken or string cheese also work well, and I often use my dog's kibble in a sandwich bag, soaked with a tiny bit of water to make the kibble softer. When clicker training, the click should happen the instant your dog does the behavior you want. The click should always come before the treat. If you click, you should always treat, even if you click by accident. This is really important in maintaining the power of your clicker. There are a few different methods you can use when clicker training. You can click by capturing, shaping, or just marking a cute behavior. In this video, I'm doing a lot of capturing, meaning I didn't really ask Max to do anything I'm just clicking when he does things that I like. Um, and in this video, he's, he was doing it down earlier and then he flopped over on his side and I'm capturing it. The more traditional method of using a clicker, uh, or the more popular method, I guess I should say, is marking a cube behavior. So that's the more common use. Um, and here I'm demonstrating that with Max. So I'm asking him to do various things. And then when he does what I ask, I click and then I treat. If he doesn't do what I ask or if he guesses wrong, I just don't click and treat. And then he tries to figure out what exactly it is that I do want. That was hard to see, but he, he did do it. He just did it off screen. Now he's just trying some various things doesn't really know what to do. So I help him with a little hand signal and then I can click and treat. So that's how I let him know that that was what I wanted. Good. Good dog. So that's really it. Have fun getting started using your clicker. Go ahead and charge up your clickers and start capturing the behaviors that you like.